Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. Alright, so this image was taken with the Panasonic S1 camera. I was using the 24 to 70 millimeter, as you can see here, uh, Sigma lens, a Sigma art lens, and I was using a filter. Um, I don't remember the name of the filter, but I was using a filter um, on the camera as well. Uh, what I wanted to do is to get the dreamy look of the light in the background here. That's why I use the filter. So yeah. So these are the images I took. I saw her on Instagram with the same um, head uh, mask thing. And I said, hey, you know what? Let's do a photo shoot the next day. And she actually showed up the next day for the photo shoot. So these are the images that you can see here. Um, I was shooting with the Godox, well, not Godox, Flashpoint light. Uh, no, it wasn't a Flashpoint light. Actually, I was shooting continuous light. It wasn't a flash. It was the SL... I don't remember. Let me let me look at it. Yeah. So it was the Godox SLW um, light I was using. It was a continuous video light I was actually using. So I wasn't using any flash. As you can see, my ISO is at 500. So, yeah. And I was shooting at 2.8 because I wanted a soft look. All right. So let's look at some of, uh, some of the other images. And this is my editing process, actually. Oh, I added a lamp to it because I wanted to try something. You know, I'm always trying things. All right, so enough of that. I'm just going to pick out the images that I'm going to be editing. So I'm going to start with, let me see. Uh, I like this one. So I'm going to press 5. So I'm going to rate it to 5. And then I think I like, um, which one again? I think I want to edit three images. I like this one as well. Two. I need to get some of the light in the background. I think I like. Hmm. I like this one. I also like this one, but I'm just not sure. But I'm still going to select it. And then I'm going to go with. Let me see. Maybe this one as well. Alright, um, this is a nice image as well. Alright, good. So those are the images I'm editing. So I'm going to go to rate. I'm actually in Lightroom right now. So I'm going to go down to rated. And yeah, so we have one, six images here. But the ones I'll be editing is going to be this one. So I'm going to bring it over to Photoshop. It's going to be um, Command E. Or what I could do, I could just click, uh, right click and go to edit in Photoshop. Let me see if it's there two times. Yes, it's there two times. So I'm going to close this one. All right, good. So that one, and I'm not sure if I'm going to edit both in one video. I love this one as well. So I'm going to add this one as well. But I'm definitely going to do three images. But I'm just going to do a video with one. Oh my, I don't know which one to choose. Did I choose this one already? Let me see. One, two. And then, you know what? I'm going to go with the one with lights in the background. So this one as well. All right, good. Perfect. So I'm going to start with... Ah very hard to make a decision you know what I'm just gonna start with this one all right so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna crop the image so I'm gonna go to the crop tool here ensure that I'm shoot I'm editing at four to five ratio so it can fill the entire screen when I upload it to Instagram so enter good then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna zoom up to see if there's any um, pimples to be removed I'm gonna uh, create a copy I could just drag it down here to create a copy right there. And then I'm going to, I don't really know the shortcuts for, well, I know the shortcuts, but I just can't bother to call them for Mac computers. So I'm just going to do the manual way and just um, show you guys how to, how to do it. All right, so uh, there's nothing much to remove from there. All right. And sometimes you have to watch the um the outfit because I didn't notice that. 
I had some low power issues while I was um while I was shooting so I wasn't paying attention to a lot of things. But this looks good. Alright, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go to the frequency separation action. I'm gonna press three. Uh, the frequency separation option is also in the description. You can download that absolutely free. Alright, so I'm going to press M on the keyboard for the mixer brush. Mixer brush is normally uh, nested on the brushes here. And for the settings, wet is 13, load is 75, mix 90, flow 100. Everything just remains the same. The only thing I've changed is the wet. Alright, and ensure that you click on this little icon right here. Then I'm going to just get my brush a little bigger. I'm just going to do one two three four five good i want my images to look as natural as possible so i'm not going to do too much that sh that should be your aim for all your images don't want them to be over edited over editing days for me is over so yeah just gonna do that and because i was using the filter and i was shooting at 2.8 as well the image is a little bit soft so it will be very easy to edit see that look at the texture see that love it all right um i think that's about it good so let me just look at it before and after real quick so i'm gonna hold on come on or out actually it's option before and after and now i'm gonna go to camera raw so i'm gonna um come here filter camera raw i'm gonna press auto i uh, love auto and then i'm gonna scroll down to the bottom here where it says collaboration i'm gonna push the collaboration um, primary blue up a little bit let me just do before and after and then i'm gonna come to let me see basic and play with the highlights a little bit let's control the light in the background i could make it bright you know what? i'm gonna make it a little bit brighter then the blocks down a little bit nice um what else dehaze just a little bit like that perfect so you can see the before and after there after the color grading all right this is a little bit crushed so i'm going to see if i can um get the crushed out a little bit so i'm going to delete this frequent separation action because i'm not going to use it anymore and i'm going to create a new one at three radius again i'm going to zoom up go to my mixer brush tool I'm gonna change the wet to about 26, and then I'm just gonna wait. Gotta go to the lower layer and then paint to get rid of the wrinkles. Awesome. Perfect. All right, the wrinkles are gone. This looks good. Uh, let me see if I can add some effect to it. I'm just gonna shift option um, command E, uh, and then um, uh, I'm gonna do color lookup. Hmm, not sure if I like that. I'm just gonna lower the opacity to about 15. And what I could do again, I'm gonna Control shift alt e again and then i'm going to go to camera raw once more and i'm going to play with the colors uh the profiles that i have see if there's anything out there i would like i think i like this let me just see before and after hmm this looks good as well but i don't like it so you can always play around with these um, colors here are these profiles these presets actually they're called presets these are the ones that i've created down here yeah i don't think i like any of them this one is a little bit nice i'm going to select this one and then i'm going to lower the opacity so i'm going to go there right so this image is done there's nothing else i think i need to do oh Oh my look look at that look at that uh what i could do i'm gonna put everything in a folder or in a group and then i'm going to try to remove the um ghosting there i'm gonna create a um what's it called that mask go to white 
bring this up it's gonna change the entire color though because it's gonna go back to the original but no need to worry I'm gonna fix that um, what I should have done was to do this on the um, wait gonna move this down let me see I think I can hold on on option and move this down no all right don't know what's happening but let me just move it back up all right let me see let me go back to this one and see if Okay, so the problem is from this one. No. All right, I'm gonna do a different. I'm gonna do a different approach. I'm just gonna create a new layer, and then I'm just gonna get the um, what I call this tool again, clone stamp tool, just sample and paint. That's an easy fix. I don't know why I, I went through that um, entire thing there. If I had the frequent separation action um, layer there then I would be able to fix it but I removed it so you have to pay attention to what you're doing so you don't make those mistakes um, I think I could get the dodge tool I'm gonna press B and go to one and get rid of the dark spot right there highlight the arm right here as well Okay, so that's not so nothing was happening because the foreground was black and I was painting on black. But you have to remember that you need to paint on white when you when your layer is black. Good. So I am done. I am done. Let's look at the before and after for the what do you call this again? The dodge. Perfect. So I am done now. But what I need to do, I'm going to need to brighten our eyes a little bit. So I'm going to go to the advance here and turn this up. Way up. And then I'm going to hold on an option and an eye. Okay, so it's not option eye, it's actually come on eye. I'm still learning the um, shortcuts. I'm going to paint the eye. Actually, no, I'm just going to paint the highlighter and the uh, light at the top highlighter light at the bottom good all right i'm gonna whiten the eyes a little bit so i'm gonna go to eyes and just paint like that and that perfect so i think i'm done i don't think there's anything else i need to do with this image so what i'm gonna do now is to save this image well put my logo on it all right i'm gonna put it right there and then I'm gonna save it for Instagram so I'm gonna go to save for web and I'm gonna say 1080 and the height is automatically um, registered I'm going to save and then I'm gonna save this to my Dropbox personal projects September right there save good so now I'm going to upload this to Instagram so you guys can like um, this photo. So I'm going to go on and edit these others. I'm just going to add them to it as well. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for another video. Bye-bye.